Yeah, that's exactly right. When investigators and inspectors found more than half an inch of water in an E10 tank here yesterday, they immediately shut the pumps down. Obviously, water can cause serious damage to an engine, but the OCC says this was nothing more than an accident. We've never seen anybody do this on purpose. Nozzles bagged and handles zip tied. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission shut off sales for all unleaded fuel after finding water in a tank at a Guthrie station. We received a consumer complaint about possible problem with the quality of the fuel at that station yesterday. Short time later, the same day, we had a fuel inspector go up there and do an inspection. An inch and a half of water was found in an E10 tank three times over the limit. But despite online speculation the station was cutting corners, the OCC says it's due to heavy rain. It is a common myth that an unscrupulous gas station uh, operator will add water to the fuel storage tank in order to thin out the gas and make money. That is a total myth. It's physically impossible to do that because gasoline and water don't mix. Out of the more than 3,700 water inspections last fiscal year, the OCC found 230 violated pumps, a rate of just over 6%. And despite record high gas prices, data is on par with past years. It is relatively rare. If you had to look at one most common cause, it's because a cover on the tank was not secured properly. So when you had heavy rain, some water got in. Now, as you can see, most of the pumps behind me are back open, except for the one involved in yesterday's incident. As you can see, the contractor is working right now to clear that water from the tank.